Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is making butter and buttermilk. What you need for this experiment is having whipping cream, a mason jar, and then optional, a piece of bread, a knife, a spoon, a drinking glass, and a plate, which I'll have in the description below. All right, well, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. Today's um, experiment is we're going to make butter. And so we're going to do that out of uh, cream, heavy whipping cream, right? And so I used a mason jar. And so part of it is um, milk is 5 to 10%. Um, it's mostly water, but 5 to 10% is fat and protein. And where a cream is uh, only, it's about 15 to 25% fat and protein. So the process normally is you put milk out and then you scrape this cream off the top and then you'd be able to make the butter from that point. So I just cheated. I went straight ahead and got cream. I'll show you in the description where I got it or the kind I'm using and then a regular mason jar. And so um, after you get that part um, in, so you're gonna have to do a process called curding, and that is where you separate the fat from the liquid, right? So uh, the fat molecules inside the cream are like little tiny microscope water balloons, and so they have fat into it, and we gotta shake it really hard to be able to break up and separate the fat from the liquid, hence our, uh, making a solid and a, and a liquid, uh, from this cream and to be able to make um, the solid butter and the liquid butter milk. So what you do is you take your whipping cream and you pour it about half, about halfway. Uh, it doesn't have to be full way, it's about right there. And then I'll put that down and then you take your lid because you don't, it's gonna be messy. Um, and you put your mason bar, jar lid on, make sure that's completely tight. It's probably a little bit more than I needed uh, there. So I'm going to pour a little bit out. I pour a little bit out there. You only want a half full. And then this process, the second process called kerning, is going to take about 8 to 20 minutes. So a lot of uh, cultures have songs to be able to get through the process. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to stop editing after I get going. And then I'll come back when I get it closer to done. But the process is, is you wanna really strongly shake the jar um, while you're doing this because the idea is to hit the two uh, membranes together, the fat membranes, and break them apart like small water balloons to separate that fat. So you're gonna take it and you just wanna go as hard as you can for about eight to 20 minutes. And I'll be back in just a couple minutes. So I've been going for about five minutes now. A little bit of the sloshiness went down. It's starting to turn into more of a, which is a three part. I was just doing butter and um, buttermilk, but we're also gonna get a step in there where we get whipped cream too. And I think I'm at that whipped cream stage about five minutes, six minutes in and going. It's a good idea if you have a partner, which I don't have a partner today, so I gotta do it myself. But if I open it up, take a break here for a second. And you can see we have uh, whipped cream here. So, got it here, nice whipped cream, tastes like whipped cream, it's not as uh, sweet as the ones you'd buy at the store, but uh, it's definitely whipped cream. So now you're going to go the rest of the time, you're not going to hear much, kind of makes this sound, but when it gets to the end where it separates from the liquid to the butter, you're going to hear a really loud sloshing sound and that's when you've got butter. Now you can check as you go, it's not gonna ruin it if you open it up, but you do have to go. I mean, like I said, six minutes in, and I got a little time to go, and I'll check back with you guys. I'm 10 minutes in, it's not making any noise yet, but I do wanna show you, it's starting to become, you can see it's a little bit becoming a butter. It's separated from that whipped cream to more of a butter stage. I'm 10, about 11 minutes in, so a little bit more time and I'll be back. All right, guys. About 14 minutes in and I think I finally got it. So you can see it's a liquid in there. You can hear it. It's sloshing, right? So it's really sloshing now. And you can see the liquid in there. So I'm gonna take a chance, take it off here. And yeah, we got, we got butter in there, right? And the liquid. So we separated, just like we said, butter solid with the butter, liquid butter milk, and then if we take our bread and knife, 
this down. And you got a little butter. Tastes delicious. Is we have the liquid in here, and that's that's buttermilk, right? So we're able to pour that out. You use it for a recipe. Most people aren't going to drink it. Some do, but um, there's some good cake recipes that need buttermilk. So you can use the buttermilk right there. Um, tastes good. I'm not a big buttermilk fan, but it tastes like uh, buttermilk. So there you go. We've got we made whipped cream in about five or six minutes, and about 14 minutes in, I was able to separate those fat molecules by churning and uh, able to make butter and buttermilk. Now, properly, you should rinse this off and make it into a ball, pour clear water on it, and keep doing that to cleanse out the buttermilk inside the butter, and then you'll have butter. And then also, if you wanna make it taste a little bit better, before you start this whole process, uh, just sprinkle a little bit of salt in and uh, everything go good. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, experiment, and thanks for watching. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks. So if you like that video, there's also a video right there, right there, right 